Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Saturday, May 7th. It's the third week of Easter and week two in the Psalm Cycle, and please join me. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word in Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, as the deer longs for running water, so my soul longs after you, O God. Alleluia. Psalm 42, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, as the deer longs for running water, so my soul longs after you, O God. My soul thirsts for you, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before you? My tears have been my food day and night, while they continually say to me, Where is your God? When I remember these things, I pour out my soul. For I had gone with the multitude. I went with them to the house of God, with the voice of joy and praise, with a multitude that kept holy day. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall praise yet again the health of my countenance and my God. O oh my God, my soul is cast down within me. Therefore, I will remember you. From the land of Jordan and of the Hermonites, from the hill of Mizar, deep calls to deep. At the noise of your water spouts, all your waves and your billows are gone over me. Yet you command your loving kindness in the daytime. And in the night, your song shall be with me and my prayer to you, the God of my life. I will say, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning? Because of the oppression of the enemy? With a sword in my bones, my enemies mock me while they say to me, where is your God? Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall praise yet again the health of my countenance and my God. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, as the deer longs for running water, so my soul longs after you, O God. Alleluia. Paul's letter to the Colossians, chapter 3, beginning at verse 1. So if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, whatever in you is earthly, fornication, impurity, passion, evil desire, and greed, which is idolatry. On account of these, the wrath of God is coming on those who are disobedient. These are the ways you also once followed when you were living that life. But now you must get rid of all such things, anger, wrath, malice, slander, and abusive language from your mouth. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have stripped off the old self with its practices, and have clothed yourselves with the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge, according to the image of its creator. In that renewal there is no longer Greek and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave and free, but Christ is all and in all. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which Indeed, you were called in the one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom. And with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, 
hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Here ends the lesson. Alleluia, judge me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. Alleluia, Psalm 43. And please recite it with me. Alleluia, judge me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. Deliver me from the deceitful and the unjust. For you are the God of my strength. Why do you cast me off? Why do I go mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? O oh, send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your tabernacles. Then will I go to the altar of God, to God my exceeding joy. Upon the harp I praise you, O God my God. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall praise yet again the health of my countenance and my God. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, judge me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. Alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 4, beginning at verse 18. As Jesus walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went from there, he saw two other brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, in the boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets. And he called them. Immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. Jesus went through Galilee teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing every disease and every sickness among the people. So his fame spread throughout all Syria, and they brought to him all the sick, those who were afflicted with various diseases and pains, demoniacs, epileptics, and paralytics, and he cured them. And great crowds followed him from Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and from beyond the Jordan. Here ends the lesson. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Renew a right spirit within us. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. We long for you, O God, and thirst for your presence. Shed your loving kindness upon us and be our help all the days of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, the Lord is truly risen. Alleluia, alleluia. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia and happy Easter.